Welcome to Five and Five. So this is a new series by Trinity College Botany Department where we want to cover five common species on your walks that you take um, locally in five minutes. So today we're here on Newcastle Beach which is in County Wicklow on the east coast and it's a beautiful shingle beach as you can see in the background. Now the first species is called bird's foot trefoil. It's this beautiful yellow flowered species and it's in the pea family. Uh, the Latin name, because those dreaded botanists always like to use Latin name, is Lotus corniculasus. And this is the common bird's foot trefoil and it's one of the most common species you come across on Newcastle Beach. It's got these beautiful little yellow flowers and for any of you who are um, have your own veg gardens or allotments, you can see that the flower is very like the pea flowers you would grow at home and it's because it's in the same family. So this is called bird's foot trefoil. The reason it's called bird's foot trefoil is because when it produces seeds, it has these little pods and they look just like a bird's foot. Species number two is kidney vetch, and you can see it as far as the eye can see here. So this beautiful downy silver plant. I'm going to pick a little piece because there's so much of it here. Now this again is in the pea family. So we saw that um, previously. And these have um, kidney vetch and Thylis vernararia have these beautiful silvery leaves, these lovely little um, pea-like flowers in a downy head but they're distinctly silvery and that's different from the first flower we saw which was bird's foot trefoil. Now these two are in the same family in the pea family Fabaceae um, you can see that their flowers are quite different so the flowers there's fewer flowers on lotus but the flower is much bigger and the leaves are green and Anthyllis the kidney vetch here, the flowers are smaller but there are many of them and on the flower heads is a, a, a dense hairs. So kidney vetch and lotus corniculatus. Number three, the next species most common on Newcastle Beach is this species here so it's like a big dome and this is called rock samphire. Um, the Latin for this is Crithmum maritimum and it's really fleshy um, it's almost like the, the Irish version of, um, of a cactus. It isn't a cactus, but it's very fleshy. And it's actually in the family um, Apiaceae, which is the carrot family. And you can't tell that by the fleshy leaves. But if you look at last year's flower stalks, you can imagine that they look a bit like the carrot family. So this is rock samphire. It is used in cooking. Um, I tasted it and it's not very nice. Um, and some people have described it as a cross between acidic, lemony and creosote. So I wouldn't recommend you eat this, but some people do eat this species. Chrisma maritima. The next species, number four, is bladder campion. And it's this beautiful little white, white flowered species here. Um, if we have a look at it in more detail, it's a really spreading form. The leaves are green, the stem is purplish, and what's really um, characteristic about this species, it's not the white petals, but it's this beautiful pink blush, uh, vein-like, net-like pattern on the outside of the petals. And you can see it waving here among the bird's foot trefoil. This is really common on shingle beaches and really common around all of the coasts of Ireland. Number five is sea spurge. And this is the silvery, silvery green species here. Um, it might be very familiar to those of you who are gardening because it's in the euphorb family, euphorbiaceae. And a characteristic of that family, there's plenty here so I can take a piece, is you break it off and it produces this white latex. So this is sea spurge euphorbia paralis. 